Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Mr. Coyle, and if you're into American Truck Simulator, we'll get along just fine. Uh, I found this game a few months ago, uh, and I've been really enjoying it, uh, especially since it has a VR compatibility uh, to play it in your VR headset. Um, but with the recent updates um, being 151, uh, mainly, and 150 had the same issue, where when you play the game in VR, uh, it was really, really laggy. Um, and if you've ever tried it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It makes the game unplayable. So let's actually jump over into the game now and show you what I'm talking about. So right now we're in version 1.51, and you can see uh, the traffic here. Let's get what we're seeing in the headset here. Look how jumpy and laggy they are. Um, and it's way worse when you're wearing the headset. Uh, it's not something you can look past. Uh, it just it really takes from the game. However, after digging and digging, uh, I finally found the fix for this. Guys, yes, it is not your computer. It is not your graphic settings. It is simple as changing a 1 to a 0. So let me show you guys how to do that. So... We'll go ahead, do, 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 switch back to my monitor here, and we're going to go ahead and quit the game. Alright, with that, do. so you're going to want to go into your file browser, go into your documents, American Truck Simulator, and you're going to have config.cfg. So if this is your first time going into this file, you're going to want to right click open with notepad. Easy peasy. So once you have it opened up with notepad, you're going to have your whole list of your uh, configuration uh, stuff here. So the one we are looking for right here, you set our manual stereo mirror mode. So what this does is it causes the game to reproject onto your monitor as well as in your headset. Now if you ever played this on version 1.49, uh, you would notice that there was no reprojection on the monitor except for this tiny little square down in the bottom left corner. Um, but it, it, the game ran smooth. So this uh, yeah, secondary uh, projection on the monitor is what's causing the whole issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one and change that to a zero. All right, file. I'm just going to save as, again, because it was giving me a little bit of a problem earlier. There you are. Okay, we'll just save then. Save. So just to double check, let's open that back up. And make sure it did stay, save this time as a zero. Okay, it did. Okay, so with that, we're going to bring the game back up, and this time you will notice the screen will go black. Uh, we'll still see the menus, but once we're in uh, the driver's seat, we won't have anything. So, we'll continue our career here. Uh, my racing rig is unplugged, so don't worry about any of that. And drive. And look at that. We have a black screen, but we can hear the game. That's because we are no longer reprojecting onto the monitor. So let's take a look in the headset. And as you can see, now traffic is pushing along nice and steady now. Uh, wait for this little Dodge Magnum to go here. No more lags, no more jumps. Uh, it's kind of showing bad on the, uh, the video here, but this does take care of the problem. Um, and that's it. That's, that's all there is to it. Um, I guess to go into the end of this video... 
Uh, if you're not sure how to play this in VR, we can go through that really quick because it is also very, very easy. Uh, come back over here. So in our Steam menu, we're going to go to American Truck Simulator, Properties, Betas, and then pick your, your beta. You're going to want uh, your Open VR plus Open XR Oculus one, version 151. Select that as your beta. You will have to reinstall the game, which will take a little bit of time depending on your internet speed. And more importantly, when we're in general, we want to put in Open VR or Open XR, whichever version you're using as uh, your launch option. And when you start the game the next time, bada boom, bada bing, you're playing in VR. So I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.